Um, uh, three meetings ago. Um, two of those were a regular meeting, one was a special meeting. The first meeting was when these folks came and did a, a presentation about this and kind of just laid it out there. Like you said, 8.04 miles, a, um, a, a pathway, bike path that would go through <coughs> Westchester and cost $13.6 million. And the, the board, uh, I think, made a good decision and said no. Now, what this was, what they were really wanting us to do was to go to OKI, which is the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana Regional Council of Governments. And that is an organization which takes federal and state money and uh, divvies it out in an eight county area around the tri-state. So what they were proposing was uh, doing this in phases. And phase one was gonna go from Trinity Pub, where there's an existing bike path in there, and it would go along Port Union Road, head north on Rialto over the railroad tracks, and then cut through a wetland, which, oh, by the way, is part of the floodplain. And so uh, that was 1.5 miles, and what they were suggesting is that we apply for this grant for $750,000, but the problem is, is it would fix in time and space the trajectory of the rest of this stuff, number one. And I still remain firm that uh, for something this sizable, the trustees shouldn't be making that kind of decision for $13.6 million. That has to be going to ballot. We'll let the people decide, all right? And, and um, so in the $13.6 million, it doesn't include money that would be required to take property. I mean, domain. And it's just a, it's just a, it's a, it's, it's just a bad deal. One of the things I said I could get behind was a connector. And oh, by the way, in the state of Ohio, a bike path has to be a minimum of 10 feet wide. Generally speaking, it's made out of asphalt, so that you can have bi-directional traffic, right, with the line down. And uh, this connector that we're going to be putting, that, that we've, all we've done is applied for a grant. The actual cost of the connector from the Butler County Engineer's Office is about half a million bucks. So the grant that we would apply for could go up to 750, so now we're applying for a $500,000 grant, of which we have a 20% stake in, which is $100,000. I've already contacted Kroger, I've already contacted Beckett Commons, I've already been to the board meeting at Beckett Ridge, HOA, and I, I have proposed a very simple thing. Beckett Ridge has one of the lowest HOA fees around. I've been there almost 30 years, and it's gone up 50 bucks. It's $240. I'm proposing, and guess what? There's 2,100 houses in Beckett Ridge. I'm proposing, you know what? Just five bucks earmarked for this path, because guess what? This path is really for the benefit of Beckett Ridge. And, and if they raised it five dollars a year per household, we could raise forty thousand dollars to help pay for that. Because I am committed that the citizens of Westchester have no business paying for this kind of a connector. And so what I want to do is create a new template, a new template that we might be able to use for other such connectors that we might see that would connect house rooftops with businesses. And one of the things that has to happen is the businesses have to see the value. If a business doesn't see the value, they're not going to make an investment in this. And guess what? Deal's done. So, so uh, Beckett Commons has already committed uh, to, to put it in. We're still trying to reach out to Kroger. As we know, that, that Beckett Commons is where Beckett Kroger is. As of January 1st, they're leaving going up the street to Tylersville in 747. Right? The center's going to go dark. I mean, don't get me started. <laughs> so um, this is quite simply the connector. My promise to you is to raise the money without taxpayers in Westchester and put a dime into it. And I'm just really willing to walk away from it if that doesn't happen. So I'm a sales guy, right? So I, I, I think I can probably raise this money and, and uh, this, is a, this is a nice amenity. 
do not confuse the connector with the Miami to Miami trail. I can't tell you what's going to happen 20 or 30 years down the road. So the connector stands on its own. If one day in the future, when I'm dead and gone, the board of trustees decides to do something other that probably most of us wouldn't agree with and do something, then so be it. But today, that is a simple connector that the township right now is on the hook for $100,000, but you have my promise that I'm going to work to make sure that we don't pay it down. freshman building along Tylersville Road there and we shared the expense of a $40,000 sidewalk that went from Weathersfield east to the freshman building and then back in through there so it's it's possible it's possible that this okay I grant this grant that we're getting is based it, it's from the fast act fast Fixing America's Surface Transportation. It is based upon the 18.4 cents per gallon federal tax that we all pay. We're not getting it from some other funding source. And I'm going on a rabbit path here real quick. We have a great relationship with the Butler County Engineer's Office, Greg Wilkins. From now until 2021, we have, we are getting the benefit of road improvements, road maintenance, culverts, and all that kind of thing. Our cost in the next three years to do that, if we exclude Union Center Boulevard interchange, is about $3.4 million. The rest of it is coming from other sources, which is to the tune of $18 million. So it, it could be a state road, it could be a county road, uh, but it's being paid for by somebody else, but we're getting the benefit of, from it in Westchester. So I don't, the, the FAST Act is a five-year thing, so I don't know how often this thing comes around. My understanding is that it's going to come back again in two years. So um, did it happen fast? Yeah, it did happen kind of fast. I kind of thought that it was an emergency too, and that's why we put a stop to it. For the, please don't confuse a bike, hike, Miami to Miami thing with a connector. Watch the meeting, I put a template forth of criteria that might work to get these kind of connectors. And oh, by the way, since I've been a trustee now about five years, there's only one other place that anybody has ever said that they were interested in a bike path, and it was Dieter, I forget Dieter's last name, but he lives up there in Kingsgate. And he was wanting some kind of a sidewalk to go from his neighborhood to Tylersville. 
We can look at that. But his neighborhood is so old, there's no sidewalks anywhere in that neighborhood. So I don't know what it would connect with. The connector here connects point A, the new roundabout, to point B, right there across 7, uh, 747. By the way, it connects with a non-bike trail. It's not 10 feet wide. It would be great if the trustees would have some town meetings like this so that we could really ask you a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm the meeting. Love to have you. Thanks for coming. But we, we do have a lot of